Now I got a choice, right? It's really neat to come to this table this morning. It's always really neat to come to this table. This table, as it was being prepped with the candles and the elements, reminded me of a lot of our table in the coming weeks. As you put the, the bird and the ham and the sweet potato casserole on the couch, you start going, where is the spot for our plates? And that's the beauty of a, of a feast from our Lord. There's plenty for everyone. For all who call the name of Jesus Christ are not just invited to this table, but are welcome. Our Lord makes space for everyone. Every person. It doesn't matter the age, it doesn't matter where they were born. Honestly, it doesn't matter what they believe. This feast is prepared and served by Jesus Christ for all who come. Let us pray. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is so right to give our thanks, our praise, our adoration, our all to the one who was, who is, and will be. Loving God, we gather at your table, a table prepared for by your hand, and served by you. How amazing, how incredible. <clears throat> God who created the heavens and the earth brought forth life has chosen to enter our history as a helpless baby has chosen to humble oneself to serve to serve even those who would turn away who would scorn Loving God, we truly owe you our thanks and praise and so much more. We give you thanks for this day, for this table, for this gathering. For friends, for family, for celebrations, for precious moments. For talks over coffee. For private conversations. For children calling and say, hey parents, we need a little help. And for parents both calling and say, hey children, we need a little help. And somebody to answer. We give thanks for birthdays, for anniversaries, and in particular this season, family gatherings, which does not happen often enough. And yet, this season, like so many, continues to be tainted. COVID is still a thing. So is cancer. So are dozens of other diseases. Gun violence is still a thing. We cry out, when will it end? War rages. Divisions continue to grow. And we utter those words, peace on earth, Lord, and wonder when. Loving God, we ask that through this meal, through this feast,